Welcome to the demonstration of the campus recruitment system. This is an innovative system that helps the students and the companies to meet their objectives. The system is an Android and web based system where the student and the company uses an Android application to communicate, while the web is for the admin to manage both the entities. The student has to register by providing his personal and academic details which will be verified by the admin and the action taken will result whether the student can access his account or not. The student can look for jobs which are automatically filtered according to their eligibility to make their work more easier and apply for it. The company also has to register by providing the company details and can access their account only when once approved by the admin. The company is allowed to post jobs, view applications and can also view all the students. Let's see how it works. So basically we have two apps, one for student and one for company. So let's start with the company first. Since I've already logged in, the app redirects to the dashboard. Let's log out. This is the registration form for the company where the company has to fill in all their company details. Let's make an account later and let's log in with the existing company ID. So this is the dashboard. The dashboard has three things. Firstly, it has counts of the application that the students have applied in their company. So one is the total application and another is the count of the application that the company received today. So since they didn't receive any application today, the count is zero. And below you will see a list of the applications. So currently there are three applications. If you click on any application, you will find two items or two categories. One is the job profile where you will find all the details about the job. And second is the student details. In the student details, you will find the student's personal details and their academic details. If you scroll, you can see the secondary details, the higher secondary and the graduation details as well. Let's go back and let's see other modules. So in this application, we have used a navigation drawer to switch between different modules. We have seen the application modules that is the dashboard. Let's go to the profile module. Here you will see the company's profile where they can update their address and city and their contact number. Let's go to jobs. In the jobs module, you will see a list of jobs that the company has added. So since we have only added two, you will see only two items in the list. If you see a floating action button in the below, if you click it, it is to add a new job where the company has to fill in all the job descriptions, fill in all the job details and, and anything related to the job. So let's add a job. I'll give it a title. job description the requirements your key responsibilities the salary range that uh, the company can afford to give for the job. So let's enter 6 to 7 lakhs and criteria it is written only percentage so I have to enter a minimum percentage that is the criteria so let's enter 65% and done save. So it says job is posted let's go back and we'll see the iOS developer. The job ID is 17 and criteria is 65. Likewise, you can also delete the job as well. If you click on the delete icon, it will ask you whether you, are, you want to remove the job. If you say yes, it will be removed. Let's go to view students. Here you will see all the students, those who have registered in the students app. And if you click on any student, you will see all the academic and personal details since 
this is just a dummy you won't find the correct details if you click on the third one you will see better results than the previous one let's go to feedback in the feedback model I have to enter a feedback the company wanting to notify any feedback to the admin so by this way the company can communicate with the admin let's uh, move to the student app since I have already logged in here the app takes me directly to the home page in the home page you will see the number of applications that is the number of jobs I have applied so currently I have applied for three you will also find a X button if you click on that it will ask you whether you want to withdraw your application so basically it is if you want to withdraw your application so similar to the company's app I've used a navigation drawer to switch between different modules if I click on profile module I'll see all the personal details where I can update my contact number and you'll find a button at the end saying academic details so if I click on it I'll see all my academic details segregated by parts that is secondary higher secondary and graduation likewise I can update them let's go to view jobs if you see in the view jobs the jobs that you are seeing they have already filtered and they are shown as per the eligibility criteria so for example if my average of my secondary higher secondary and graduation comes to a percent so the criteria has been saved so the average has been saved in the database when the company posts a job it has to enter a criteria so matching those the jobs are filtered here if you can see the last item in the jobs you will see the iOS developer which has been just added and if I click apply so it says your profile has been sent to the concerned company if I go back and if I click on home you will see the iOS developer that I've just applied let's minimize and go to the company's app let's click on application so you will see the iOS developer that that I just applied so if you click on it you will see all the details let's switch to the students app likewise there is a feedback where I can give a feedback and notify the admin these apps are a little different when it comes concerning about the genuinity of the student or the company here when a student or company registers the admin verifies them and then approves for example I will log out and if I sign in I will see the student has to enter his personal details so let's enter so I'll just uh, give a random number I'll enter any random numbers so let's continue and now I have to enter all my academic details so randomly I'll update So here it says only percentage should be entered in the SEMS field and if status is appearing 8th SEM leave it bank. So if I am pursuing BE now I am in the final SEM so I can leave the 8th SEM and the date of passing beside it blank. So I will enter the percentages so it will ask you SEM1 passing date. So for now I will just give random dates. So as you save and all the three sections are completed you will see a submit button that will be visible so if you click on it so if you try to log in now with your email id it 
it will say not yet approved so that is the admin has not yet approved or disapproved so in if in case the admin finds anything wrong in your profile he will reject which will lead to the rejection of the profile which will also notify while you sign in that your account has been rejected thank you let's see admin module of android campus recruitment system so let's go to the admin module over here the admin must enter the id and the password to log into the system so these are the module the admin can access so let's first see the view company approval over here the admin can view the company name so if you want to view the details of company he can view the company details as well as he can approve or disapprove the company by uh, verifying the company details so let's see the next module that is view student approval over here the admin can view the student details by clicking on to the view button so over here the academic details will be shown of particular student and based on the details he can approve or disapprove particular student let's see the next module that is view job post over here the admin can view the job post of various companies so let's see the let's see the job post of this particular company so over here the job name description requirement and the key response and the criteria and the job salary will be to the admin so these are the models uh, the admin can access this is how the admin model works